my dear viewers, beginning today is the official Alliteration Gaming Patreon and channel members. Throughout my Patreon, we've got quite a few tiers you can check out in order to gain special perks and even commission videos that you'd like to see me upload onto the channel. Every tier includes a shout out on my supporter card at the beginning of all of my videos, along with the benefits of the tier itself. Following that, you can now also join the Alliteration Nation by becoming a channel member on the YouTube side of things. Pledging your subscription here as a member of the channel is going to grant you the same shout out on my supporter card as all the Patreon tiers do, as well as access to the members only channel on my Discord. You'll gain a member badge that will level up as you stay subscribed and access to my exclusive emotes when I stream on YouTube. If you're interested in checking out the Patreon, I'm going to have the link in the description and in the pinned comment down below, as well as the link to my Discord should you want to join that as well. And if you want to become a channel member, the big beautiful join button is front and center on my homepage right here. And if you do decide to support the channel in any way whatsoever, know that I am unimaginably grateful and I can't wait to provide you with even more top-notch content at my trademark top speed. Additionally, it's time for the return of the referral code. If you're new here and you're just getting into the game, you've got to make an account on the Universus Gaming Network. When you're signing up, you can use my exclusive referral code alliteration to let Jasko know that I brought you on board, which directly supports me and my work. Having an account on the UGN site is going to allow you to sign up for tournaments, participate in events, locate stores that support the game near you, and much, much more. Playing in events and or mailing in pack wrappers is actually going to accrue loyalty points onto your account, which you'll then be able to redeem for exclusive promo cards in the mail for absolutely free. An account on here is an integral part of playing this game, so make sure you sign up and you use my code alliteration to help me continue doing what I love. I would really, really appreciate the support. You guys absolutely killed it on the last one with all of the signups, and I am really excited to run it back with you all. Now, let's get on to the video. Welcome my dear viewers to another alliteration gaming video. My name's Levi, and sorry, I do sound a little bit rough today, man. I woke up with a pretty, pretty nasty little cough, little nasty in my throat, and so well, the aspirations this week is going to be a little bit scuffed. You guys would have to forgive me, but it is Wednesday, so we still must continue with the market watching. Guys, if you're new to the channel, this is our weekly secondary market series where we scour TCG player, and I handpick a few cards that I think are really, really relevant in the secondary market right now. Maybe they're more expensive than they should be. Maybe they're cheap than they should be. Maybe they're going to get more expensive and here's why I think why. That type of stuff. And we just go over them and we talk about them. We do a little deep dive into uh, how you can do some educated purchasing. So if you really like this series and you want to see it every single week, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get it all shoved into your inbox. Without further ado, let's get right into it, guys. Starting off with a couple of set three cards. I've got Twisting Azure here. Twisting Azure is one that we've talked about quite a lot recently. Obviously, uh, the rise of Tokoyami uh, ever since the set came out, ever since Twisting Azure was revealed, basically, we all thought that this card, this deck was going to be crazy. Now Dobby 2 is out and things are getting even crazier and the price is reflecting it. It's pretty much settled all the way at around 15 bucks and it's getting scarcer and scarcer. You can only get five of them at that price. After that, they start getting a little bit more expensive and then basically don't exist at this ridiculous price. So this uh, this might be your last chance to get Twisting Azures for a very reasonable price. People were buying them out like crazy for around 10 bucks before that because they knew that this was coming. They knew that everyone was going to want to play Dobby 2. Everyone was going to continue playing Tokoyami because it still looked to be like the best deck in the freaking world and uh, the price are reflecting that so this last little like play set here of twisting azures might be the only ones at a reasonable price it could come back as something even worse um, i think it's probably gonna restock a little bit at 15. either way i think this is still a good price to start to start looking at grabbing these if you haven't gotten your set yet and you want to play some twisting azure decks in this coming meta uh next set three ultra rare is stun grenade which uh has seen some pretty crazy action recently. It's been like bought out here and there. Same thing for this and the XR. It's now like resettled around $12 for at least a, a handful of them until it starts getting more around 20. And then if you look at the XR, it's around 15 right now, uh, which is also quite 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 a few of them in that price range. So if you're still in the market for these, I don't know if it's it, it's in its most volatile range right now. It could get a little cheaper. It could get a lot more expensive. I think the risk margin on this one, if you still don't have stun grenades and you want to play stun grenade decks, or you think you might want to play stun grenade decks in uh, this format, 
could be a good time to pick these up. A lot of people are looking at these, you know, these Death Fury decks, uh, these these Shigaraki. People people love these Fury Shigaraki three decks. Uh, people are loving Bakugo three from the DLC. Uh, this card's just going to see a lot of action in the coming days, and so I think it's just a, it's an okay time to be picking these up, uh, especially the XR. I think 15 for the XR is very very good. We've seen that one get really 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 crazy in the past. 15 is kind of the upper echelon of what it's really sold for, but we've seen it bought out for much 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 worse. Um, and then people had to kind of come in and force the correction down, right? And then uh, continuing with set three, we've got Freezer Burn. This XR is another one that's seen some really really crazy buyouts uh, all the way in like the 30s and the 40 dollar ranges. It never actually really sold for that except for like this one right here. Uh, but either way, it's been very very volatile, especially recently. It's been bought out for quite a while, but it looks like it's pretty much resettled around the 12 dollar range, which I think is a great price. This card is really 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 crazy. Uh, it's an absolutely insane card. It's an XR of a rare. Uh, the card's just nuts, man. And and these symbols are very popular. These packages are very popular. Uh, the charge dobbies are really, really loving playing this card. It's just kind of a no-brainer to, to 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 pick up if you've been if you've been waiting for like you know that optimal like sub fifteen dollar price for XR Freezer Burt. It's finally here. Uh, next, let's move into promos a bit, and I actually want to talk about, so this is something that we never talked about on Wealthy Aspirations, because they never really got posted, and also, they weren't really in, like, demand, like, people weren't going crazy for these, uh, but the HLC character promos, um, so you might think this is just the regular RLE character promo, uh, you might think they all are, but they do have a little, uh, you can kind of, let me throw another, you can see a little HLC 22, uh, stamp right here. This is the only difference in them. These are the ones given out to the participants of the HLC uh, and to a lot of the staff that work at the event as well. Um, we've seen Midoriya uh, and Shoto listed for 100 and then Ajiro listed for 300. Uh, there's obviously like almost no price data on these. I can tell you guys that I personally uh, sold my three for 600 and I know of at least two other people that sold their three for 600 and then their three for 450. So 200 each or 150 each, which I think is more than reasonable to be paying for these guys. A uh, hundred for Midoriya and Shoto is very reasonable. I don't think three hundred for Jiro is that reasonable. Uh, but I mean, if you can if you can find someone to milk, you can find someone to milk. But ultimately, these promos just aren't very 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 different. They're not in super high demand. If you can find like a high end collector that just really wants them for completionist sake great you'll be able to sell them for that price but otherwise i don't think you're going to be getting anywhere near at least not this number for these but i could totally be wrong there uh because there's just so little data on these next up one that we have a lot of data on chivalrous competitor uh we've talked about this one so many times in the channel right now it's easily like the craziest card of the whole secondary market as of this last like month or so uh basically ever since set three came out really uh but it's been bouncing around like 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 when it first came out it was nothing then it went around to like 12 15 that it kind of hovered around that range Recently with set four coming out, people have kind of realized that this card's just still super relevant and it's not coming on redemption anytime soon. People aren't opening set three anymore anytime soon. So it's seen some really, really crazy price action going all the way up to like the 25s and whatnot. Uh, we've got a set here for 20 and then they become 25. 20 bucks, a very good price for this card at this point. Uh, the, the days of getting this for 12, 13, 14, you're just not gonna find that. You're just not gonna find that, at least not for quite a while. So I think being able to find this for 20, that's pretty much like the price that you have to be okay with picking this card up at. Like it or not, this is still just one of the most important cards in the metagame, and you just kind of need to own a set of it if you really want to hardcore compete. Uh, next up, um, we're going to talk about some more promos. We're actually going to talk about the buy a box promos, but set four's buy a box promos. So these aren't on TCG Player yet, uh, but I have started to see listings on the Facebook groups for some guys selling these. We've got Bryant Lopez, one of the Houston uh, Houston boys right here. Kyle Wright, another Houston boy. These Houston boys are finding these, uh, these, these evidently. And uh, we've got some pretty crazy prices being asked for here. I mean, obviously, you know, if you can charge the waifu tax, you can charge the waifu tax. Good on you, Kyle. Uh, I He has told me that the Fortune Surrender he traded for 50 in trade value. So that's some data there, if you so desire. And then we can also see uh, asking for 40 on the Fortune Surrender. So I haven't sold yet, although the Determined did sell for 50. And he's got a release for 70 as well, uh, which is obviously the old ones. But as far as the new ones go, uh, this is kind of the only price that I can find on these guys. Uh, I, I try to hunt down people who, who, who might have them yet. Haven't been able to find out from anyone except for the Houston boys. So for the moment, uh, this is kind of all of the price action that you can find for these set four buy a box promos. But just give it like a week or two, let the stores actually start getting these, actually start doing like their sealed events, and actually start getting them into the hands of the players. Now, if the previous buy a box promos are anything to go off of price wise, these are probably going to get pretty insane. But I also think they're going to give these out for quite a while. I don't think they're going to like stop doing these anytime soon. Like ideally, not until the next set comes out because they're just going to always want to encourage stores to to do you know to do sealed play. All right, but maybe it's just like a temporary 
everything. We don't really know yet. We haven't been given like a timeline for Jasko, so really just take everything with a grain of salt. Next up, we're actually going to talk about some set one cards, guys. Uh, I want to look at Frigid Heat Wave here. Uh, there's one in unlimited Heat Wave in stock for about 23 after shipping, and then they're like 30 bucks from here on out. This is kind of like the price that that Heat Wave has hovered around for quite a while. Um, but notably, these are uh, all first edition, right? The unlimiteds get a lot cheaper uh, on on occasion, but the first editions are what really really stay expensive. If the difference does not matter to you, the unlimiteds are obviously great. You know, those are the ones that you could pick up for much more around like the 20, the 22, 25, 26 dollar range. Uh, even have some first ed sell for that cheap, albeit that was like about a month ago. Either way, though, Heat Wave is always one that stays pretty expensive. And while most people do kind of expect to pay around 30 for this card at this point, uh, they are kind of starting to dry up, especially the Unlimited. Next up, let's look at Dark Shadow Ruin. Guys, Dark Shadow Ruin is basically every other set one ultra rare uh, besides like Heat Wave, Ice Storm, and Detroit. Stays super duper cheap. Uh, but. Dark Shadow Ruin is actually starting to find its way around the $8 range. Um, if you look and see, uh, for like the last month or so, you know, they were selling around like the, obviously, you know, the usual four or five bucks and then suddenly they started jumping up and jumping up and jumping up around eight bucks and they've been snapped up. They've been, they've been getting snapped, 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 snapped up uh, basically ever since set four started getting into players' hands, which people are realizing, obviously, you know, when Nationals came out, set three came out, people caught on pretty quick that Tokoyami was just like the, the best deck, basically. And uh, the more we play set four, the more we're starting to realize that he's still very much up there. The bands really didn't put him down at all. Deck is still absolutely crazy it's got a lot of good new tools that came in from set four and uh even though the thing, the thing about set one's ultra rares is there's so many of them on the market so even Tokoyami being the best deck for like these last like you know six months didn't affect the price it's finally finally starting to actually dig into it and make it around eight bucks or so uh but i will say this is not a good pickup right now because if you look at the XR, it's basically the same price. So if you're gonna be paying this for Dark Shadow Ruins right now, you should just pick up the last few XRs uh, for for these this like eight dollar range, right? You know they have a few at you know nine, ten here, and then Shop Card Advantage has twenty three of them, twenty three of them for eight bucks plus three dollars shipping. So like if you're looking to pick up Ruins at this price right now, go for the XRs because those are gonna those are gonna be gone a lot lot quicker, and then it might just get pretty crazy. I mean if you look at the sales history, it's historically sold for way 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 cheap than this uh, but the advent of Tokoyami being you know one of the strongest decks in the game has been a thing for a very very long time now and I think it's just finally starting to catch up to the price of Dark Shadow Ruin and I would be keeping an eye on this card in both of its rarities as well as all of Tokoyami's cards uh, going forward the next ultra I want to talk about is actually Meteor Shower, guys. A lot of people are really catching on to Chaos Dobby with Meteor Shower, the Chaos Charge Package on Dobby, as well as All for One with the Chaos Charge Package and Mr. Compress with the Air uh, Charge Package. So Meteor Shower is a very, very integral part of that game plan. A lot of these decks are kind of just trying to figure out how much they can, like, you know, loot meteors, you know, just finding a bunch of new ways to do it. And I mean, it's historically always been around, like, you know, three, four bucks. And uh, that's pretty much what it's sitting at right now. And there's quite a handful of them sitting at that price. Although I do think it's only a matter of time before the like what less than 10 meteor showers that are less than ten dollars actually uh you know exist and then you know who knows what might happen it, it could start being a, a bit more of a sought after ultra rare uh some of these you actually start keeping an eye on uh, as we're moving into set four of the game a lot of these have existed on the market for so long but uh you know we're getting a lot of new players in eventually the quantities are going to start drying up a bit uh and as these cards gain a lot of new popularity because of things in these new sets uh, they're going to be looking to get snapped up and we're going to see you know some actual fluctuations that for cards that we really really never thought we would just because there's always been so many of them on the market like if you just look at like the quantities on set one's ultra rares right you know the really really good ones like heat wave detroit uh texas you know they have like slightly small quantities even ice storm has has quite a lot too but like look at these others man 42 listings on naval lasers 35 on turn to dust 27 on evil gaze 28 on staff strike 44 on relentless barrage there's 61 on gray bar 70 on hard and pummel there's so many of these on the market that it's really hard to imagine these prices ever actually breaking through to relevant increases uh, but I think we will start to see that eventually I mean look meteors are all the way down to 12 that is one of the smallest numbers on this whole page right here uh, so I think we might actually start finally seeing uh, so some breakage into these numbers as some of these cards become a little more relevant so as unrealistic as it might have sounded you know a month or two ago it is something to keep an eye on now going into a couple of the XRs it can't be fixed we talked about this one a, a, a good while back because there were like a handful of them for like 12 15 bucks and I thought that, that was 
a really, really good price for them. And a lot of people agreed because there's only one of those for 12 bucks and then it basically just doesn't exist, right? You got one for 40 bucks here. Uh, basically, basically doesn't exist after that. If you could see quite a handful of them have actually got bought up for around that 12, $15 range in the last few weeks. Because honestly, this is just a good price for them, man. This is just a good price for that card. It is a really, really, really good staple zero difficulty foundation that goes from non-shiny to shiny in set one. Those are like all the parameters for a nice like $15 XR. Uh, and I think the days of that might be coming to an end very, very soon. So keep an eye on, on, on it can't be fixed. If you missed out on getting these, some people might post some more for around the 12 to $15 range. Maybe a little more expensive since, you know, they sold really, really well. We'll just have to see. But either way, this one is in the danger zone now. And if you picked it up when we recommended it a couple of weeks back, very, very, very good on you, my friend. Another one that I've been talking about for a while is Electric Jolt. Electric Jolt's XR is one that has historically been very, very cheap in like, you know, the, the, the five, six, ten dollar range. Usually not breaking anything past that simply because where people really, really like the RLE version. The second the RLE version came out, it's like the Toy Story meme. Like, I don't want to play with you anymore. Everyone was selling their XRs uh, so that they could pick up the RLEs. Um, and as you can see, the market, though, is starting to finally dry up on the XRs because the RLE has also super duper dried up. There's only like a few rotating around in the market right now. It's in like the $50, $60, $70 dollar range. It's really, really, really crazy. People want their cheaper alternative. So the XR jolt started getting bought up and bought up and bought up. And now here we are all the way back to this $15 range for them, and who knows how long even this will last. Uh, again, set one XRs are a little harder to find. Uh, people are opening set one a little bit more. Like it's not like, it, it's not suicide to open a box of set one right now. Like it's not terrible. It's not as bad as opening like set two or three, uh, but it's still not something that a lot of people are really looking to do. So a, a lot of these set one XRs can be a little bit harder to come by, uh, but if you don't own your set of jolts, I don't think, I mean, it's still a fantastically beautiful XR from set one. It's a staple. It's, it's widely in hot demand. Again, chaos, you know, ever since set three has become one of the most prominent symbols ever. This card just is going to see infinite play till the end of time, basically. And there you have it, guys. That is going to wrap up this week's Wealthy Aspirations. Honestly, I thought that there wasn't going to be a very, very interesting things to talk about because set four, if you look at it, we didn't talk about set four at all. Set four's prices. You can really just go watch last week's Wealthy Aspirations. Everything pretty much settles uh, where we all expected it to settle. Nothing super duper crazy has really happened with those prices yet. Uh, that's that, the, the set's just very chilly. It's very, very decent prices, and it's just chilling out. Uh, but there are actually some really interesting things going on and with, with a lot of the past cards that we got to talk about this week. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. you making it all the way to the end of the video. If you really liked it, I would love some feedback down below. And of course, if you want to see this series every week and more MHA CCG content, you can hit the subscribe button, and it's going to load up your news feed with my videos every single day, uploading one to two videos a day. Uh, there's just a lot of content on this train. And if you want to be a part of it, that's how you can be. And if you want to be an even bigger part of it, you can hit the join button, become a channel member, get access to like some badges and emotes when I stream. It's very, very, very cool stuff. But of course, if you really want to submit yourself as a part of the channel, you can check out my Patreon, which has a ton of different tiers for how you can commission videos directly from me. And overall, just have some kind of impact on the type of content I make. I'm going to have the links to everything for that in the pinned comments and the description down below. Above all else, though, thanks for making it to the end of this video, and I hope I can see you in the next one.